Halloween is an exciting time, but for our pets, it can be stressful, as stressful as the 4th of July, in fact. Instead of fireworks, there are things that go bump in the night and strangers coming to the door, bing bong and all that. Absolutely. So Sean Bailey joins us from the Michigan Humane Society with great ideas for keeping your cat pet comfortable and safe during Halloween. And you've also brought in a new adorable pet that needs a forever home. And this is Sweet Potato. Oh my goodness. How do these dogs get these names? Somebody deranged over there. They say, hey, that looks like a sweet potato. Maybe he's sweet like a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Next one's going to be celery. They're super creative, I'll tell you what. Yeah. But uh, Sweet Potato is looking for his forever home. And he is a three year old Maltese cross. So he is full grown and he's available for adoption at the Mackey Center in Detroit. Okay, well, let's talk about those of us who do have pets, and if someone does happen to take Sweet Potato home, how can we get our pets through this stressful Halloween season? Well, you know, perhaps the best way, I think, to um, minimize the, um, the risk to your pets is to um, keep them inside an interior room of your house, or perhaps a crate, mm -hmm. um, you know, just for the night. That way they avoid the, all the noise that comes with trick-or-treaters mm -hmm. screaming and laughing at your door. Um, you want to also consider passing out treats from your front porch or driveway. Mm. To get uh, away from the dog. Yeah, absolutely. You know, isolate them in the house as much as you can. Uh, make sure that they're wearing a secure collar with an ID tag. Um, and we also recommend a microchip, which okay. is available at our vet centers. Um, and also just keep candy out of reach, especially chocolate. And chocolate with the additive xylitol is especially mm. dangerous. Look at that face. Boy, yeah. Take me home with you, please. So <laughs> keep the candy out of reach. But I'm assuming you're saying stay out on the porch or in the driveway so there's not a bunch of door knocking and the mm. doorbell going off constantly. Will that set our pets off? Yeah, well, it's so stressful to, to your pets. And you know what? That may be what sends them running out the door fleeing. Mm. And really, that's the last thing you want to do on Halloween night is run out searching in the dark for your pet when you're supposed to be having fun. So what sort of dog is Sweet Potato? Is this, uh, as Tati said, is he a cuddler? Is he a player? Is he a runner? What, what you know, who, who should he be with? Well, you know, he's a very active dog. Uh, in fact, he's, he can jump pretty high. Um, but he, uh, he's been cuddling on my lap this whole time I've been here, loves his belly scratched. Um, and we do know that he would be new to a family with children or other dogs or cats. So we recommend that you introduce him slowly. Okay. okay. Well, whoever adopts Sweet Potato, our pet of the week, will receive a $75 gift certificate from our partners at Hagopian Cleaning Services to help with the transition to a new home because, you know, accidents happen. I don't, I don't think Sweet Potato is going to last too long. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, good Thanks combination of cuddle and play. It's a good thing. Let's